Growing up in Northern Ireland, we always had tray bakes and they came in various shapes, sizes and tastes. But one of my favourites was cornflake crispies and all you had to do was mix cornflakes and chocolate together. Um, when I looked up the recipe though, I discovered that there was an added ingredient, golden syrup. I'm not sure that we used that back in the day. So the ingredients that you need are 100 grams of cornflakes, 100 grams of broken chocolate, plain or milk, or even white if you like, or a mixture for that matter, and three tablespoons of golden syrup. I'm salivating just at the thought of it, so let's get started. Now, unlike other chocolate recipes where you're melting the chocolate um, in a bowl over some boiling water, this one calls for a slightly different method. And I think it's because we're adding butter to it, so it's not just going to stick to the pan. So what we've got to do is we have our saucepan on a very low heat. And we're going to add in the butter. chocolate and then our three tablespoons of golden syrup if I can find which way it opens okay here we go oh it's oozing out look at that lovely So we can just let it fall in. It's two. That's roughly about three. Oh, I want to lick this spoon. <laughs> I haven't had golden syrup for ages. Mm. What makes it golden? Mmm, the colour. Now, you can see that it is starting to melt already. So what we want to do is just to mix everything together. Maybe mm. slightly more heat, but it has to be low. And we mix it all together until it comes into a nice little creamy mixture. Oh yeah. And we keep stirring until we make sure that everything has melted because you can see there's still remnants of the butter there. And um, that will be probably the last bit to go. Do you want to taste it? Oh, I'll taste it later, I Let's think. see how sweet it is. Right, so I think everything is mixed together now. What we want to do is to then turn off the heat and believe it or not, we let it cool slightly. Now we've let this cool down a little and we've got our cornflakes in a mixing bowl now. So we're gonna pour the chocolate over the top, the chocolate mix rather. And before it sets, just give it a good mix with the cornflakes. Now it looked as though there might not have been enough chocolate to cover the cornflakes, but look, it has all come together. Down here, Paul, look, we have 12 cupcake cases sitting in a little glass bowl. And we're now going to fill each one of these and then it goes into the fridge to set. So I think because I'm right-handed, I think I need to do it this way right, to be honest. I'm all fingers and thumbs. <laughs> I think I was too generous before. I am a very generous person, you see. The only thing is, is there going to be anything left in the bowl for me to lick? 
There's some bits on the side. No, maybe not. Maybe. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's one way I'd like to have my cornflakes for breakfast. Are you saying that this is your breakfast cereal? Mmm. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. All right. So I think that's pretty good. And now these will go into the fridge to set. Mmm, look at this. Now they've been in the fridge for a couple of hours to set, but I decided that I wasn't going to eat them, or <laughs> not all of them anyway, I wasn't going to eat any of them uh, as soon as I took them out of the fridge because the way my teeth are would probably break them. So I've left them out for a little while longer to sort of get back to uh, towards room temperature. But they have, they have set. <laughs> but they have set, mostly. <laughs> uh, so let's give it a taste test. Mmm, crumbly. You need mm. a plate. <laughs> mm. Very chocolatey. Too sweet. Not too sweet, no. The only thing is, all I'd say is that they haven't really held. Did you need more chocolate, maybe? Possibly, but I thought I actually had more chocolate um, originally than I needed. Now, who knows? Maybe they just need to go into the fridge for a little bit longer. In the freezer, maybe? Mm, not the freezer. However, if, like me, you don't like biting into things that are too hard that might dislodge a filling or something. I think this is just right. So not too bad. It tastes absolutely fine. <laughs> yes, hello? Oh, you want to subscribe? It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. You never know who you're going to bump into on holiday. Well, during our recent trip to Bruges, we met a very unusual fellow. Let's take a look. Attention, attention, chers visiteurs. Vous allez voyager dans le temps à la découverte de Bruges au Moyen-Âge. Bienvenue à Historium. Andacht, andacht. Andacht, andacht, beste bezoekers. Hier reist u terug in de tijd naar het brugge van de middeleeuwen. Welkom in het Historium. Come in. Oh yay, oh yay, dear visitors, you are about to travel back in time to Bruges in the Middle Ages. Welcome to Historium. Attention, attention, chers visiteurs. 